the Bunker, Turkey Buzzard Productions presents the Major Reviews, CAD program evaluations on Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa. This is the Major. Yeah, a couple weekends ago we got uh, Rhino 5 running on the Dell laptop. So I figured we'd just give a quick demonstration on what's on how it's been running and, and what we've been doing with it. So I opened up the Stratocaster faceplate from a few weeks ago, and this is what we're this is what we're seeing. If you notice, the toolbars have been rearranged more to my liking. I don't like the multi-tab multi interface across the top, so I changed it a bit. Uh, in order to do that, I had to import the toolbar file from my Windows machine because you can't really access or change your toolbar configurations in Linux Mint using the Rhino interface itself. Uh, anyway, so now we're just cleaning up the DXF file, put everything on one plane, clean up the little artifacts, make, make some of the lines more tangent than they were to the circles, or, or to the arcs, I mean. Uh, and we're just going to kind of clean this up, clean this file up, and make it into something, something really cool. You can see the tool, the zoom in and out feature works really well. The the tools seem to work fine. Some of the accidental features of the interface uh, that you might want to play with don't seem to be working. But the main body of the program, the actual geometry creation, file save and all that works really good. I'm really impressed. Uh, the folks over at Code Weaver done a really good job of getting all of the background software that you really need stuffed into their installation routine, including IE7 I believe it was. So anyway, I hope this is encouraging to some of you folks out there that have really been wanting to see Rhino run on a Linux box. Uh, we're just going to close up the exterior outline here and make it a polyline. Join it all together and then uh, looks like uh, make it solid, uh, make a surface anyway. Make a surface of it eventually. First we're just going to clean up some of these intersections here. here here's your surface. There you go. We're going to use some of the, um, you can see the color change is really working well, kind of well there. We're going to use the other geometries to kind of cut the, the planar surface there. Get rid of those features. One thing that I really like, one of the features that I really enjoy about Rhino is the ability to hide stuff without actually erasing it. Hit the little light bulb icon and it, and it hides itself. Uh, you can just click on the light bulb icon again uh, with the right mouse button and it'll just jump, jump right back on your screen. We've got all the cutouts done. There's a few artifacts here with the video driver. I'm going to have to figure out how to upgrade my video driver on this box, but uh, it works pretty good. Here's an extrusion at the actual shape or thickness of the uh, of the part looks pretty darn good I think this might actually work and you could 3d print this out or you could take it to your uh, local water jet cutter and have a cut out of acrylic or whatever other plastic material you want or you can just put it on your CNC router and or laser laser cutter laser cutter will cut that out for you too all in all seems to be working pretty well. We will definitely keep you updated on features that we find that don't work or features that we find that do work. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome reviews. Have a great day.